Welcome to Saturday night, baby. What does that mean? Hot and spicy. Something a bit different. Um, I was going to do this meal tonight, and then I spoke to a colleague in work, and he suggested something. And I thought, what a damn good idea. What he suggested was hot dogs. Chili dogs. So, I'm trying this this here. And uh, I've not tasted it, nothing. It's that stuff. Stag Chili Dynamite. I've seen it in Sainsbury's. Now, I've used this brand before. When I've been camping, I've taken this sort of stuff. Very good. Um, dynamite, so we'll see. I've got sauce here on standby. I've done some fried onions. If you can see them. These are chips with a coating, very thin coating of batter. And they've had sea salt and, of course, vinegar. Mm. Oh. <coughs> Sorry. And um, three buns, which I've pre-cut. Garlic and cheese bread, which Mrs H got in Aldi. And she also got some clog in gold. And that came from Aldi. It's a Welsh brew. So, we're going to... Don't mix. Don't mix. I always say this. Don't mix. Mess with Texas. So how are you doing in yourselves? All right. I hope so. Hope you. Hope you're gonna have something nice to eat. If you are having something nice to eat, be a glass. I think I've tried this. Cheers. Nice. Cold. Ooh. Nothing beats that. Just that bit there. It's like a, somebody's injected you with anaesthetic and you're relaxed. <laughs> All right, so how are we going to do it? It would help if I remembered the main ingredients, wouldn't it? Bear with me. Right, apologise about that. I wanted some of them. And those are ye old oak. Ye old oak. American style hot dog sausages. They were the right size. So here we go, bun. I'm going to dress them. or oh, fill them up. I'm not putting butter on because uh, there'd be enough. No, I tell you what, with this, we will put the sauce. I was going to put the onion first, so here we go. Sausage, onion, fried onion, freshly fried onion. There. Excuse me. And then some of this. First I should try it shouldn't I really? That's a lovely taste. Beautiful. There's no... I'm going to leave it a minute to see if it builds. I don't doubt it. So, I mean, for me, that's not dynamite. It might be for a normal tongue. <laughs> Somebody who's not stupid like me, but... Uh, there's, you can, there's something there. It's, it's like a... For me, that's like a peppery heat. You know, like pepper. Um, ground cracked pepper. That type of heat. So, never mind that. This is going to be messy, this one. Excuse me. There's no uh, no way, no nice way of doing it. 
Well, there is, but I don't know it. <laughs> oh, what an idea. That is nice. I'm going to go with some Trinidad Scorpion from Wiltshire Farm. This is quite a hot sauce. Not as hot as the Reaper. But it does have the nicer taste, if you like. But um, that Reaper I used last week, that's lovely in cooking. So what's on your menus this evening? Or menu, I should say. There we go. <coughs> Spot on. Yeah, what are you having? What's on the old um, drinks menu? I've had... Um, what have I got today, this week? I've got some Carlin, uh, Carlsberg, Crofter's Apple Cider, about 5-6%, um, and a couple of these real ales. There's no nice way of doing this. We're all friends. Until this video maybe in there. <laughs> Mmm. Sausage is lovely. Mmm. I love the music. I do apologise. Mmm. This week has been um, weather-wise, well, we've had snow, frost, you know, freezing, we've had rain, a bit of sunshine <laughs> and wind. Mmm, man. And I was hungry. These are beautiful. These are only from Tesco. New line they're doing. Um, the store I go to, it, they're, um, they're like a deal, I think, part of a deal. Like a meal deal. Um, they're chips in batter, they're called. And they're by the garlic breads and things like that. And their curries and that sort of stuff. This is lovely ale. Probably. Mm. Ale. Beautiful stuff. Mm. Probably made with the water from Snowdonia. Because it's in snow, don't you think? Lovely. This um, this last week I filmed a few clips. Um, sort of clips of the week, but not quite. Um, uh, there's a bit of. Somebody asked how I uh, dressed a pheasant, I think, or prepared it to cook. So last Sunday, um, was it last Sunday, the Sunday before, when did I have a pheasant? God, the time goes so quick. Anyway, when I had the pheasant, i just shown it, just before it went in the oven, with a piece of bacon on it. Just, um, I think that's what they wanted to see, unless they wanted me to cook it and show that. Mm -hmm. 
Mm, that's nice. So this is lovely. What an idea. And it's not, you think it might be dry with no butter, as we add butter to most things. But it's not. Not with this sort of, you know, these fried onions and... Funny things, these fried onions. We've got this, uh, this is lovely um, stuff. This should be a lot hotter, this one. Fingers crossed. Chili con carne it is. Type stuff. Chili. Yeah, chili con carne. Um, there's no easy way to eat it. It just gets messy. Let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. They had a beautiful offer, beautiful offer, in the, where was I? I can't remember that, because I usually buy most of my meat from a butcher, but I do get it in the supermarket when I need something quick or, you know, time is a problem. And um, they had some chicken thighs which have far more meat than the wings. Eight of them for two pounds in money. So I bought them because I'm can. i going to roast three tomorrow for dinner, roast chicken. And then probably Monday night I'm going to season some of them with some hot spicy seasonings I'll made on my own up. And then uh, tomorrow night maybe and then let them marinate and then Monday cook them. Uh, or maybe partly cook them tomorrow tomorrow night and then uh, finish them off on Monday night and they're gorgeous like that. That's more likely. Thank you Trinidad Scorpion. Oh. <laughs> Not quite dynamite with that on either, but um, we're getting there. We're lighting the fuse. That's going to come off. There we go. Any plans this weekend? If you can make plans, because uh, dinner tomorrow is going to be, um, as I say, the roast chicken thighs. Um, they'll just be seasoned with salt and pepper. Um, oh, that's a nice when you don't eat, you know, let it burn. Lovely, let it burn. And um, I'm doing some I like, got fresh carrots. Well, not going to be stale. Are they? <laughs> steam them, um, runner beans, steam them, Maris Piper potatoes, uh, steam them and then probably put them in a bowl, oh that is nice, um, salt, pepper, butter, uh, yeah lovely. I forgot how good that is, that's um, taste and this heat sort of builds and it's, it's burning the mouth that's lovely Wiltshire farm mm. onions are done to perfection mm. So I'll try and make something of these clips I've filmed, which are, as I say, one showing the pheasants and 
oh, there's a few odds and ends it may not even make sense in the video but as long as you know now don't watch if you don't want to watch it i'm just saying in case you fancy it um it's been filmed over several days so you know one thing might not look like the other if you know it's not like a walk where you do one um sort of uh rushes one of the rushes and after the other video one of the videos after the other mm. I wouldn't eat this on a first date. Why not? Because it'd be a hell of a <laughs> you think you're a pig. Or he. Depends who's eating it. Yeah. These are like a Frankfurt, aren't they? Similar. Mm. And the other news to tell you. I'm looking because sometimes I'll see something. Oh yeah, I'll tell you. Um. All right. Any antique lovers in? Would you like to buy? A second hand barometer. No pressure. I ordered a thousand honeybees. You know, bees. Ordered a thousand. When they arrived, they sent 1500. So I phoned them up. I said I ordered a thousand bees. You've sent fifteen hundred. He said, "Yeah, that's the uh, that's the free bees." <laughs> Good, eh? Or not? Dependent on how you're thinking. Hmm. Tell you what though, fill in. These are bread rolls and chips and <laughs> God, my eyes. Do you ever have days like that? Eyes were far bigger than your belly. I think um if Mrs. H fancies a few of these to have to help me. Help me. Well if you put your hand to the screen, help yourself. Any of you tried this? Do you like it? Well, Wales, obviously. Don't know if they sell it out of Wales. But it is an absolutely beautiful... What's the strength of it? I'm going to have to go for a test, I'll tell you that. Conway Brewery, yeah. LL29. 4% is not that strong then. Oh, that's what I want to tell you. When I was in I was in Tesco um, this last week and I was looking, they've got a fantastic selection of real ales um, and new stuff and brew dog and all types of stuff, but very expensive. So there was a tin there. I can't remember. Don't ask me what it was. I can't remember. But it sounded good and the tin looked nice. And it draws you in, doesn't it? So I looked at it and it was, you know, £4.50 it was for a tin of this sort of lager tin. There's a Carlsberg, sort of that size. You know, it's not a like a tin of pop. But um, £4.50, anyway, I looked at it. Nine point something percent. <laughs> Two of them and you're away, baby. Two of them, we sing Mine Hen Lord Van That's the Welsh National Anthem. 
Mä olisin, se muista viitti sitten mallisti. That. So, that is good stuff. A lovely taste. Very nice. But dynamite, it is not. It was like um, somebody lit the fuse and that was it. There was no bang. <laughs> So, um, but that's for me, isn't it? I don't know what other people think of it. But there is a, I could tell there's a, for me, there's like a, what I call a peppery heat. So, so if you get proper cracked black pepper, you know, the proper uh, ground pepper, that if you add a lot of that, that gives you a peppery heat, I call it. And it's a similar thing to that, what I got there. But it's a lovely stuff. But I added some Wiltshire Chili Farm um, Trinidad Scorpion uh, and I bought that from the company. I've had that uh, that's well over a year, two years now maybe, but it's kept in the fridge and it keeps well. It's probably way over its date on there, but um, I know when they're not right. You know, I've never had a problem with sauces, but I'll have to keep, a, keep an eye on it now because I've got so many... I was saying before, there's so many sauces that they get into. I'll have to have a hot and spicy den. No, mind a shaved den. A sauce den. <laughs> Every year showing all the sauces with the camera. Oh, so I'm going to leave it there. That was lovely. I'm full now, so I'm going to leave this for a bit. A few more drinks. Edit you lot to put this up and then um, I'll probably come back to the a few more chips and another finish this hot dog thing it was really nice very nice I gotta watch the cat doesn't she's she'll eat anything this little young one Millie Alice chicken loves chicken and that's about it uh, other than dreamies and cat food and stuff like that but Mil, uh, this little Millie I have pork on a Sunday any pork crackling in gravy, she'll wolf the lot and loves it. That's a good old wash after, like she's. <laughs> um, I did some kippers. Oh, that's a thing. Someone in the comments asked, This is where they drag on. I said, I'm going. And, um, be nice if. Remember, I said about the kippers, I cook them uh, in boiling water for 10 minutes. Fill it vessel with water put the fish in 10 minutes pull it out skin it most of the bones come off and ready to enjoy and it doesn't leave a strong smell like you would grilling it or frying it they said oh, i'd like to see you doing that so i bought another kipper i eat a few kippers uh, well i've had one last week that one this week i'll have next week i bought one this week for next week and then I may not have one for a month, and then, you know, but I have one sort of once a month at least. Manx kippers are good. But anyway, I've got, uh, got a kipper, and I'll show you next week, I'll film the um, the process. Very simple. I may add it to uh, another video to this hot and spicy next week, or I may do a separate, it's only it's going to be short, so... Uh, we'll see. I may include in something or on its own. Maybe clips of the week again. That's, that's I don't know. Anyway, don't waffle on, Paul. Jibber jabber, baby. So whatever you're having tonight, enjoy it. Thanks for your company. I really appreciate it. Nice to see you. Um, if you follow me on my other channel, Paul H Films, not plugging it. Go over there and have a look. And <laughs> no, I'm <really> joking. <laughs> If you follow me in there, I'll see you in the morning. It's going to be a very basic shave. And um, really love that type of stuff. I do. Um, and that's it. If not, I'll see you probably now, tomorrow again, in this sort of clips of the week type video. You'll see. I'll try and make the, the best of it I can. Uh, so you enjoy. It's nothing major. Don't get excited. It's just a few odds and ends when that's it. How long it'll be, I don't know. It won't be that long, he says. I don't think it will. Not as long as this. Who's I'm dragging on? Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.
Take care. Au revoir, baby.